back to another episode of Ventures with Kramer. So one thing that I've been noticing, people will still have been checking out quite a bit of all the different mounting options that are out there. And with that in mind, um, because that's been one that people have been watching more often, trying to update it up to what's available now in April of 2022. So well over a year and a half into Starlink being out there. So here we go. Quite a few different options that are available out there. You still have your same existing tripod that comes with the actual satellite. Let's go get the pin going here. Ground pole mount is the new one that's out there. Pipe adapter that's been out here for a while. Flashing mount, but you do need to connect that flashing mount with the volcano roof mount, which if I remember right, that should be an additional like $24 on there for the volcano roof mount. From there though, they did get rid of the Ridgeline roof mount, and we'll try and help talk about that here in a little while. But I am starting to see some people, I think, making some custom ones, which kind of leads us into our next one here. So let's get started right off the bat. Obviously, you have your included tripod mount. Honestly, this is what I've moved back to on mine. I've just stuck some blocks on top of here to be able to help weigh them down a little bit and only because i've been having to move mine around some due to wind trying to help hold it down uh, for whatever reason the servos inside here on mine have gotten messed up over time and when i contacted starlink support they're like well you get a good enough connection going out there's nothing we can do else to fix it so okay well um it's nice that it's actually included, especially with the cost of Starlink going up here. I think that should be coming through in the next, like it's about a month exactly from now. Um, this is April 18th right now, whenever I'm making this. I still do like the fact that you have these holes right here that you could actually kind of stake them down. And with people being able to move these more often, I really want to try this camping. Um, I just think that'd be super cool to be able to help take this camping out there. Biggest trouble is being able to get a nice, clear view of the northern sky. That's going to be the key thing whenever camping. Still can't remember or can't forget that carry-on bag, which is awesome. Be able to help us move that around a lot easier. major new one that we have out there is the ground pole mount keep in mind this is all what's included in here you're not having to buy anything else extra it is quite tall if I remember right it comes up to about what is it like seven and a half feet now that's not seven and a half feet above the ground the pole itself is seven and a half feet tall and I think it's hilarious though Elon must have forced to try and help push that or somebody in SpaceX to be able to make that $69 um and it also makes it seem like this is more of a last resort only because i would assume a pole this high up on there you're going to get a little bit of sway back and forth to do to wind the outer diameter of the pipe is 1.7 inches and the inner diameter is 1.4 i was trying to see if i could figure out how to calculate the gauge on what that would be if you happen to know how to do that which would be awesome can you post that down in the comments for us? And I'll make sure to help pin that comment if you actually know how to be able to calculate the gauge. I don't know the material what this is, um, but it'd be awesome to be able to help know. I'm not sure if the material is gonna make a difference, whether it's that kind of harder anodized aluminum or whether it's gonna be steel or what it is. And make sure you also get a sack of concrete to help out with this. Because there is a decent size hole you have to have so it's a foot and a half in diameter on the hole plus two feet down and having to cure overnight to be able to help out with this so need a fair amount on there and also keep in mind that ethernet cable is not very rateable 
So you'd have to probably put it in conduit if you are expecting to be able to help try and bury that cable, which could get a little tricky depending upon which version of Starlink you have on whether or not you could actually unplug the um, Ethernet cable or not or how that connects in. So just depends. The older version, you can't, but the newer one, I've been seeing that you are able to. Pipe adapter has been out for a while and it's about two and a half inches right on there. So if you already have a spot where you can mount onto, it's showing four right now, but there are two more on the back side. Sets of um, screws to be able to help lock that in, hold that in nice and tight, which does work quite well. It's also nice that it only costs $24 um, and helps just kind of match that up. The flashing mount is another new one. Um, this one does cost $59. And so what you're seeing, it's kind of like two different sets of boxes. You're going to end up having an inner type box. Let's see if I can even try and attempt to draw this a little bit here. And then you're going to have an outer box that's going to go on top of that. And in addition to that, you have to buy the volcano mount, which is then going to go on top of here. And so then that volcano mount is where then you're going to actually connect up and hook into your Starlink. But what's nice about this is it allows you to then have all your like shake roofing material over the top here and then in between there. You're able to put your sealant and help make sure it's nice and sealed and then i'm pretty sure they also have some type of like foam material to be able to add as an extra sealant and then this is then being bolted down in and connected together i think on four different points going around and it they are talking about how the fact that you can see it just slightly here how you have the cable going around how all of a sudden this provides this extra room in case you've got a lot of extra cable stored around to be able to help make that possible. I don't know if this is like an extruded or stamped out piece of like aluminum. I think that'd be pretty cool. If it was, I would assume they'd be doing something like that to be able to help make it a lot easier to be able to manufacture, but um, I'm not sure exactly because especially if it was the aluminum that's been powder coated that would definitely make it to where this would last a long time without really having to worry about any corrosion. And so you can start to see this is that volcano roof mount right here attaching onto this one, helping to get bolted down. So see those mounting holes, those four mounting holes in the volcano roof mount. This is just helping to show it's just it's not going to be as watertight or anything like that. You'd have to just be coating this thing in all kinds of silicone or roof patch mix and everything else. Definitely worth buying that flashing kit on there to be able to help out. Um, and originally they talked about being a great for asphalt shingle roofs, but I think they realized over time that this can just have way too great of a possibility for leaks. So, Definitely not great for those ones right there. Um, so again, that Ridgeline roof mount was a huge one a lot of people wanted. I actually stopped using mine. And over the course of about a year, what they don't show is there's like a little rubber mat right here. The wind on mine moves so much that the metal right here and all the way around, it actually cut into the rubber and it was like barely just hanging on on the outer edge the underneath part was doing okay but this edge along here cut into it so much that it was actually just starting to cut into the shakes and shingles on top of my roof so i'm glad that they're not selling this anymore because it doesn't work quite as well as I was hoping it was going to. I mean, if you're in a low wind area, that's great. But other than that, maybe not as much. Um, so I was kind of disappointed on that one. And then you can start to find quite a few different options. If you just pop on to Amazon or eBay, 
and you just search in Starlink mount, start finding some stuff. This is one that I found on there. I think it costs somewhere between like 25 to 30 dollars on Amazon to just be able to hook up to an existing pipe mount. And so you don't really need to worry too much about the angle. If you get it to a nice vertical before you help to mount it up, it's going to help work out the best. Um, but this is what you kind of got going on from here. And definitely, I know a lot of times if you were out in an area where you're looking to be able to get Starlink, you most likely already have a satellite dish somewhere hooked on, or at least a possible couple satellite dishes, because usually anytime you ever switch to a new carrier, the new carrier is always like, nope, can't use the same mounting brackets or mounting holes, and so they're always having to add new holes into your roof, which is always fun and frustrating.